Oh, well, I, oh, oh, still preparing. Oh, my God. Nothing like being prepared, is there? there oh, is no. good Lord. Uh, yeah. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the UK W Arena in Batley. It's another Friday night, and it's time for Friday Night Showdown. The night before UK Wrestling Rebound, I am the uh, the voice, Brett Adley here, along with CJ Calhoun. How are you? Howdy. Howdy, you good? Howdy. 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 Yeah, Howdy. I've got to remember. Howdy. Yeah. Yeah, howdy. Yeah, you doing good? I'm doing good. How are you? How's the hand? It's coming along. It's coming along. It's coming along nicely. Still stuck in the cast for a few more weeks. A few more weeks. I bet you can't wait. Yeah. Cannot wait to get in, back in that ring. I bet you can't. And as, as nice as it is sitting here talking to me, you're itching to get back in there, aren't I you? I cannot wait, Brett. I cannot wait <laughs> to get back in that ring, especially after what happened on Monday night. And what happened on Monday night? Well, it was another episode of The Director's Lounge oh. with Tyler Tarantino. I wonder what I could hear in the distance. Yeah. Yeah. With guest of yours truly. Okay. And basically him making fun of my injury. Oh, he would, um, wouldn't he? And basically, well, as far as we're aware right now, the match at WrestleBration is off. Off? Well, you've got eight weeks. Yeah. To uh, get yourself prepared and get better if you want to face Tyler Tarantino. I cannot wait. WrestleBration comes your way. 15th anniversary on July 27th. It is 57 nights away, folks. Get your tickets right now. Don't waste your time, otherwise you'll be locked out of the building. That's uh, right. We can't let that many people in here, so when we've sold all the tickets, I'm sorry, but oh, you're not allowed in. To get your tickets now, join us for the biggest night of the year. It comes your way July 27th. Help us celebrate WrestleBration 15. But the question is, CJ... Who will be in charge at WrestleBration? Because tomorrow night... I don't want to think about this, Britt. I can't, you know, I can't you know where it. this is going. I, I know. Do I don't it. like it as much as anybody else. I don't want to else. think about it. Tomorrow night we have the distinct dark possibility that UK Wrestling will be overtaken by the Empire. Oh, God. You said it, Britt. I really hope you didn't just drink this. I hope you did not just jinx us. I hope I didn't either. Tomorrow night, Jonathan Cedric has to fight to defend and keep the company that he built, the foundations of UK wrestling, and he faces Johan Hunt of the Empire. And Chris Castle is the referee, and Red Brocco is the enforcer on the outside. Thank God for Red Brocco. Thank God for Brocco. But, yeah, what happens if the Empire win that match? Then they take over UK Wrestling. And I don't know if I want to be here next week if they are in charge. Uh, I mean, you <laughs> they graciously gave you the night off. No, the, the but night gra- hang on, graciously. Well, I didn't want the night off. Trust me, you needed that night off. You did not want to be here for that. I watched that it at home. So show. Yeah, I watched it at home on the sofa with my feet up. Yeah. But I didn't want to. I wanted to be here. Although when I saw what a mess they made of the show, then, you know, yeah. yeah quite. It's probably a good job you weren't here. Yeah, I wasn't. Left me and Joe Sedgwick running yes, the Yes, uh, the most excitable man in UK wrestling. He is Joe Sedgwick. He was, man in UK he was here with us last week. Uh, tonight, though, he's not at the desk because tonight, that was a great segue, by the way, he's in action tonight. <laughs> Fantastic segue. Uh, but he's not in action against just anybody. No. He's in action against the. UK Wrestling World Heavy... Sorry, no. Excuse me one moment with my... Oh, my graciously oversized drinks bottle, by the way. Just bear with me a second. <clears throat> He's in there with the UK Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Black. There we go. Thank you. That's going to be some test for the TV champion. Yeah, but think about this. It's the World Heavyweight... Sorry. World Heavyweight Champion against the World TV Champion yeah. the night before Rebound. Marker. No titles on the line. No titles on no, the line. No, no, no. But it's going to happen tonight. Yeah. Right there in that ring. I for one kind of wait for that. Match. I can't wait for that either. It's going to be. So, it's it's going to be something. And then come Saturday, Joey Two Belts. It could be Joey Two Belts Joey tomorrow Two because belts. he gets his shot at the World Heavyweight Championship and he has to face Damian Black, Cayman Carlisle, and somebody who he's really, really got a bit of beef with now. He does. Hamza Musoa, the uh, the saber tooth. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Hamza Musoa tomorrow. Well, I have a little bit of news for you, Mr. Calhoun, tonight. Those four gentlemen are going to, they're going to be in the same ring at the same time. Ooh. Yeah. I would not to start off be... the show, Red Brocker, in his still general manager role as he is now, because he is still at this moment in time yeah. the general manager, is going to try and get, you know, final thoughts of these guys and what they're thinking. 24 hours before... That World Heavyweight Championship match tomorrow. I would tomorrow. not like to be Red Brocko in that ring. 
No, no because I do not want to be anywhere in between Joe Sedgwick no, and Pems and Absolutely right not. I know that. Brocko's got his own match to prepare for in 24 hours. Oh, damn. Yeah, he's got the... Well, maybe just see that things go right tomorrow. Yeah. Just see that it doesn't happen. The unthinkable cannot happen. No. But it might. I uh, but I hope, really it hope it doesn't. I really hope. Uh, Damien Black has been world heavyweight champion for 272 days at this point. That it's is an some impress- rain. It is some rain, you're right. You know, it's fast creeping up on 300 days. Of course, yeah. we've got Evan Knight, the Mayhem Around the Clock champion, who now has a, I understand, a new number one contender for that belt. He does indeed. We indeed. sat here on Wednesday night, Mayhem. Watch Ruby Brocko get that pin. Indeed, so Ruby what a match that was. has got the opportunity whenever she whenever we saw all that out basically to become the new Mayhem Around the Clock champion but he's had that belt now for 342 days he does if he gets to WrestleBration 15 with that belt in his possession he will reach 399 Whew. imagine imagine tomorrow that's not night, the only belt he's got no exactly tomorrow him and Sketch for England do it one more time against Brett Sedgwick and Sigma for the UK Wrestling Tag Team Championships. What a match that's going to be. Indeed. It for is. probably the four fastest guys here in UK. I you? think you might be right. And the speed in that match. I mean, we. Blink and you miss it. Yeah, I mean, you, you're you going to struggle to keep up with that. I am, yeah, too right. <laughs> I really am. You've got Sketch, Evan Knight, Brett Sedgwick, and Sigma in there tomorrow for the Tag Team Championships. We saw last week. Uh, Mustafa Khan challenge JPR but yes, not did. not for the hardcore championship he said that will wait for another day yeah tomorrow Mustafa Khan the Yorkshireman and question mark to be determined face off against the firing squad of Tyler Tarantino Uther and JPR yeah so we don't know who's going to be the partner then I don't know still don't no, I still have no idea nope Who's going to be the partner tonight, though? Mustafa Khan is in action against <laughs> Tyler Tarantino. The match I've been praying for. <laughs> A I, lot of people have been praying for this. I cannot wait to see Mustafa Khan shut Tyler up. I can't wait to see him chop a hole in his chest. Oh, <laughs> oh! It's gonna. Ha- I think it's gonna happen. It's anyway. gotta happen. It's surely. gotta. Surely. Surely, it's gotta happen. Unless Tyler Tarantino has a complete bag of tricks there that he's gonna reach into. I, I mean, Tyler is no slouch. Tyler no, of course no he's slouch. not. No, he's... Well, that's very gracious of you to give him the, the credit. Of course. I mean, I have to give. <laughs> I have to give the man his due. You gotta give the devil his due every now and then. Mm, well. And he's managed to. He's managed to keep hold of that Genesis title. I mean, he lost well, it. He lost it to Nisa, Nisa for a, and then got it back. For, yeah, he had to know it all to get it back. True. Well, he's in uh, action against Mustafa Khan. All I can say to that Tyler is, "Good luck. You're going to need God it. Bless. Yeah, you're going to need it. Uh, we may need a spatula for Tarantino after this match. Oh, happily, super <laughs> off the floor. That'd be a big spatula, but we'll need one. Uh, so we've got to talk about what happened last week. So we have breaking news on this. Breaking Bone Studios last week pulled off one of the most despicable things I've seen in a long time. That was, oh yeah, that was some some heinous attack there. I've been, here, I've been around wrestling over 17 years and I can't remember many things that have made my stomach turn quite was, the way that that yeah, did. That was a sickening thud he made on that canvas. It was. We're talking about Ellis Barker who was the Victim of a spike pile driver. An assisted spike pile driver. Yeah, yeah, it was two of them. There was Cliff Harrison and Sebastian Mercer there. They uh, had their way with Ellis Barker. The result of that, Barker is in no fit condition whatsoever to face Seb Mercer tomorrow. Absolutely not. No. There's no way a human being can be 100% after that. Not a cat in hell's chance, as they say in Yorkshire. There is no way. So we need an opponent for Sebastian Mercer, and he's issued an open challenge. To my knowledge, nobody has accepted this open challenge yet. Not as far as I'm aware. Well, I can guarantee you now, it's not me. I can guarantee you it's not me. And it's not you. So who the heck is it? Uh, maybe we'll find out tonight, because the Breaking Bone Studios so. are here. They are. Uh, and they, you know, Mercer is determined to have an opponent you know he's backed into a corner to defend that dream ticket both of them looking at the cat that got the cream though well we'll, we'll find out if anybody's going to step up I um, hope so I hope somebody I hope so. does oh I'm sure somebody will because who wouldn't want a shot at the dream ticket yeah I mean why wouldn't you no I mean if I was fit and able I'd be I'd be chomping at the bit I say it gets you a championship match whenever the heck you want yeah uh, which is win, like, win like, a title on your terms yeah it's like gold dust you yeah. can watch you can watch to be fair you can watch that fatal four way tomorrow yeah and you can watch all four guys beat the living you know what out of each other yeah and at the end you could just go run in and go oh, I'm cashing in this dream ticket and pin somebody yeah 
It's the, the best opportunity there is. Literally. And nobody could do a damn thing about it. Nope. Uh, so who is going to step up to Mercer we will find out and we do wish Alice Barker the best and a speedy recovery we hope to see him back here soon I hope so I, I hope really so hope so. <laughs> really hope so I love watching Alice Barker in yeah, that he's, he's, he's one of the good ones so hopefully Barker can be back here in the UK wrestling ring very very soon um, we will see quite exciting news this week oh. uh, we well, it launched More to, well, it landed today uh, we are now going to be from tomorrow on Rebound, we are going to be available on a brand new streaming platform. Hell yeah. Uh, I had this up on my phone earlier, so I know the details. There you go. And whoever did the graphics, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with whoever did the graphics. Uh, anyway, it's on Stage Player Plus. And um, now you can get this on a variety of things, like your Samsung and your LG TV. You can watch it online. There's lots of places you can do this. It costs £6, and you can watch Rebound live in your living room tomorrow. There you go. Listen to the... Uh the voice. The yes. voice. Stageplayerplus.com slash UK Wrestling. You can go on there now. You'll see the poster for Rebound featuring Leonie Rose, Johan Hunt, Damian Black, and Cayman Carlisle. Yeah. You'll see that. You can then click a button underneath going buy now. And you can come back at half past four tomorrow and watch it. And if you're still on the fence, you can still watch the trailer on there as well. You can, yeah. It's got my voice on it. It does. It does have my voice on it. Why in UKW doesn't have your voice on it, Brett? Uh, not that much, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> I'm everywhere, me. Including a six, not a six, I mean, 600 shop windows at the minute, don't you know? I do know. True story, yeah, I am. Uh, anyway, yeah, Rebound tomorrow. You can watch it on our YouTube channel still, on our YouTube subscription service, on Tier 2. Yeah. Uh, or you can watch it now on Stage Player Plus. There you go. There you go. Yeah, uh, a nice little uh, relationship we've got That's going some, with them. Somebody we haven't mentioned who's on that poster. Who's that? Leonie Rose. Oh, the women's champion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, three-time women's champion. The three Iron time. Woman. Three Leone times. Rose. Three there times. we go. Three times, yeah. Three times. What are you, the Fugees? Um, One time, two times, three times. That's a dated reference, for sure. Go. Yep. Dated. 90s, right? 90s. Anyway, she is the women's champion. No woman, no crime. Uh, she is the women's champion. Tomorrow, though, she faces her toughest test by a mile and a half. For sure. Oh, absolutely. When she faces well-traveled Sadie Gibbs tomorrow, live on pay-per-view. Is that championship in jeopardy? You damn betcha it is. Yeah, it is. That's probably the most Jeopardy has been in. Absolutely. Sadie Gibbs is a powerhouse. She's fast. She's agile. She's strong. Yep. She's well, she's well traveled. She's, she's been all over been the world. All over the world. Exactly. In Japan, America. Indeed. Did you see her in America by any chance? I didn't see her. No? No? Okay. I don't think we went on the same <laughs> circuits. But well, she has been it's all over. It's a pretty over. big place, America. It is, yeah. It is. It's bigger than Batley. A little bit. But tomorrow, Sadie Gibbs will be in Batley. And she has the chance to become UK Wrestling Women's Champion when she takes on Leonie Rose. But tonight, Leonie Rose takes on your friend and mine, CJ, Uther. I won't call him a friend. Me neither. I was being sarcastic. No fair. I can't tell with the accent. I'm still getting that. Still okay, getting you're that. still getting that. Yeah, you don't quite get my dialect yet. Uh, I'm Uther, getting, Uther I'm does, a little pickup. Uther's only friends are the ones in the firing squad. Yeah. Uther doesn't say a great deal. In fact, he says nothing. He doesn't. But his actions do a lot of talking. Yeah, you really do. Didn't he lose to Redden on, uh, on Mayhem, did. by the way? Just, he just saying, he's not happy with about that. Spear out of nowhere. I, I heard that uh, Damien Black was not happy with Uther. <clears throat> no, he wasn't. He certainly no. was not happy. He won't be happy if Tarantino loses to Mustafa Khan tonight as well. Because <laughs> yeah. we've Can seen what imagine? happens before when you have to go and explain yourself to Damien Black. It's yeah. not a fun experience. It's not. I wouldn't want to have to do that. No, I, I wouldn't want to do that either. No. Imagine trying to explain why you lost to the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> that's, some, that's one intimidating man. Yeah, not something I'd want to do whatsoever. No. Uh, tonight, we'll see. When Uther takes on Leonie Rose and Tyler Tarantino takes on Mustafa Khan, have the firing squad got any chance? I mean, they've always got a chance. <laughs> I mean, one out. thing that's always going to be in the firing squad's favour, the numbers game. They are, yeah, you're right. Numbers, like, they it, don't do it, things alone. A they never, like, never do anything alone. A bit like the Empire. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. But I think with the Empire, you're only looking for one person. You're looking for Chris or you're looking for Johan Hunt. Yeah, this with, is true. When it comes to the firing squad, you've got Uther to look out for. you constantly got Tyler in your ear. Kirsty could be anywhere. Indeed. You've got JPR lurking. JPR, yes. And then Damien Black himself. Yep. They are like a pack of, well, they, yeah, an empire, uh, an empire. A pack of, they're a squad. That's they're what I'm trying squad. to say. Yeah, and yeah. they are. They live up to the name. They're a squad. They're, they're hunting packs. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, and they are all around this weekend. Yeah. Uh, who you don't see tonight, you'll see tomorrow. And to be fair, either one of them on their own is a da- is a dangerous. Oh, absolutely. Adversary. Then yeah. you get five of them together. And there's there's a good reason there's why. There's a reason why I pick my spot when it comes to Tyler and when it comes to yeah. Yeah, you, there's you a can't reason take why. all five of them on at once. There's a reason why Damian Black has been the world heavyweight champion for 272 days. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of it has got to do with, with the, the farmers yeah. part of this side. Completely. They, they'll say they'll say different. They'll try and argue the toss and say, oh no, it's because Damian Black is the greatest world heavyweight champion in UK wrestling history. I do refute that point. You can refute yeah. it, but as long as he's holding that belt, there's not it's, really much we can do about thing. it. But will he be holding it for much longer? Is this the last 24 hours of Damien Black's World Championship reign? Because tomorrow, like we said at the top of the show here, he has to defend that belt against Joe Cedric, Hamza Mosoa, and Cayman Carlisle. Yeah. And it's fatal <coughs> four-way. So the thing there is, Damien Black doesn't even have to be involved in the decision to not. lose. He does not need to be involved in the decision. This is the but risk. also, there's no disqualification in a fatal four-way match. Which means... Firewood squad come out, beat all three go, of them yeah. up. That's completely legal. Exactly. There's nothing as that much the referees as we would can hate do. To yeah, see that. and I would hate to see it. I'll be a throw in a fit, but there's nothing we can do about it. we just got to hope that Mustafa Khan, the Yorkshireman, and, and whoever. to be determined... TBD. TBD. I heard he's a dangerous, uh, a dangerous opponent, TBD. He is. Comes from parts unknown. He's... Weight unknown. Yep. Finishing he, move, I don't know. Nope. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. But fingers crossed, those three take out the firing squad, and we don't have to worry about them. Well, I, I, yeah, we can hope. But that's on the pre-show earlier on in the evening. So yeah. who knows? That pre-show comes your way from five o'clock tomorrow, by the way, for you on our YouTube channel or on Stage Player Plus. There you go. I'm going to get the plugs in. Get those plugs uh, in. Get all the plugs in. Uh, make sure you watch it uh, tomorrow. It's rebound comes your way, and then the big one. Celebration 15, 57 nights away. Eight weeks tomorrow, July 27th. I'll be so excited to be at my 15th. I've been at nearly all of them, not quite all of them, but at least 10 at least. It's going to be my first Celebration. Really? Yeah. And you could win a title if your match goes ahead. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. I'll cross it for you. Yeah, fingers you. crossed that that match happens. Yeah. I hope it does. So I'd love to see you um, I need to torment, shut Tyler up. torment Tyler Tarantino. Yeah. I just need to shut him up. I wish somebody would. For me, for you, for, for everyone. For this UKW audience. For everybody. I think everybody. Would well, like Mustafa Khan shit. might do that tonight. Yeah. Again. Fingers crossed. Fingers we'll crossed. see. <laughs> uh, Mustafa Khan, I have all faith. Whenever Mustafa's in the ring, I have faith in him. Oh, yeah. Because he's not just any old opponent, is Mustafa Khan. No, he's one, one of the very few people in this in this company that can make me look small. <laughs> Mustafa I'm, Khan I'm not is. A small you're man. not a small guy, but Mustafa but, is. But, I mean, I'm looking up at Mustafa, and he's I don't like, like that. He's like a tree trunk. He is. He really is like the tree you just cannot chop down. No. And don't forget, tonight's main event on Showdown, it will be Damian Black against Joe Sedgwick. Champion Man. versus champion. Not for any championships, Man. though. But that's what's going to happen tonight. Champion versus champion. Damian Black, world heavyweight champion for 272 days. Joe Sedgwick, by the way, has been the world television champion for 125 days now. Yeah. That's flown by. That has flown by. That has flown by. He won that belt on January 27th, and he has defended it like a true champion tonight. It's not about championships. It's all about pride. When and Shona momentum going into away. tomorrow. And momentum. There you go. And Hamza Mosoa. And Hamza. <laughs> there you go. So it's Hamza. Hamza. Cayman Carlisle, Joe Cedric and Damian Black. They're all going to be in that ring over there when we start showdown. In about 10 minutes, I've been told we can finish the pre-show. So that's what we're going to do. Go and grab yourselves a cup of tea. Get yourself comfy and join us for showdown in just about 10 minutes. We will see you then.